Leonardo da Vinci's Puzzle Chapter 1 The Discovery of the Lost Painting The air within the hallowed halls of the city's art museum was thick with the scent of history, a subtle aroma that clung to the centuries-old masterpieces adorning the walls. Jonathan Archer, a seasoned conservator with a keen eye for detail, found himself immersed in the daily routine of preserving and protecting these invaluable works of art. Little did he know that this routine would be shattered by an unexpected revelation that would alter the course of his life. On a Monday and Tuesday morning, as sunlight streamed through the grandiose windows, casting a warm glow on the polished marble floors, Archer was tasked with the routine inspection of a recently acquired painting attributed to an anonymous artist of the Renaissance period. The piece had garnered attention for its exquisite craftsmanship, but its true significance remained hidden beneath the layers of history. With a white glove-clad hand, Archer delicately removed the painting from its secure housing and placed it on the examination table. As he scrutinized the details, his experienced eyes discerned subtle irregularities in the brushstrokes and a certain nuance in the color palette that hinted at a hidden narrative beneath the surface. Intrigued, he decided to conduct a more thorough investigation. Employing a magnifying glass, Archer meticulously examined every inch of the canvas, feeling the texture beneath his fingertips. It was during this close inspection that he noticed the faint outline of a face, obscured by time and neglect. The realization struck him like a bolt of lightning. He was in the presence of a lost masterpiece, a creation of none other than Leonardo da Vinci. The discovery sent a jolt of excitement through Archer's veins. His heart raced as he contemplated the implications of unearthing a work believed to be forever lost to the annals of art history. It was not just a matter of providence, it was a resurrection of the past, a portal to a bygone era. The prospect of uncovering a hidden gem by one of the greatest artistic minds in history was too tantalizing to resist. Archer wasted no time. He carefully set aside his conservator tools and retrieved a specialized light source to illuminate the painting from various angles. As the light danced across the canvas, the hidden details began to emerge, the enigmatic smile of a subject long forgotten, the intricate play of shadows and light that only da Vinci could master. Hours turned into days as Archer devoted himself to the meticulous restoration of the masterpiece. With each stroke of the brush, he revealed more of da Vinci's genius, a brilliance that had been concealed for centuries. The layers of grime and varnish melted away, unveiling not only a portrait but a story waiting to be told. As the restoration neared completion, Archer's hands trembled with a mixture of exhaustion and exhilaration. The once obscured face now stared back at him, transcending time with its haunting beauty. But the journey was far from over. As he stepped back to admire the resurrected masterpiece, Archer noticed something extraordinary, a subtle pattern in the background that seemed more than mere artistic embellishment. The conservator's eyes widened as he realized that the seemingly decorative elements formed a coherent design, a hidden map intricately woven into the fabric of the painting. It was a revelation that transcended the boundaries of art, leading Archer to a new realm of mystery and adventure. The map held the promise of unlocking the secrets of the Renaissance, a treasure hunt that would take him beyond the confines of the museum and into a world of forgotten palaces, echoing catacombs, and rival treasure hunters hungry for glory. With a sense of purpose burning within him, Archer prepared to embark on a journey that would not only redefine his career, but also unravel the enigma of Leonardo's lost masterpiece. The painting, 
once relegated to the shadows of obscurity, now served as a portal to a thrilling odyssey filled with peril, mystery, and the allure of uncovering treasures that time had long sought to bury. Little did he know that his life was about to transform into a tapestry of intrigue, mirroring the timeless allure of da Vinci's artistry. Chapter 2 The Enigmatic Map the discovery of the hidden map within da Vinci's resurrected masterpiece sent ripples of excitement through Archer's entire being. It was as if the painting itself had become a doorway to a clandestine world of secrets and treasures. The conservator's mind raced with anticipation as he meticulously examined the intricate details of the map, deciphering its cryptic symbols and hidden clues. As Archer immersed himself in the study of the enigmatic map, he began to discern a pattern that extended beyond the canvas. The lines and symbols seemed to converge on specific locations, creating a trail that led to the heart of the Renaissance era. The realization struck him, this was not just a mere artistic embellishment, it was a cartographic masterpiece, meticulously crafted by da Vinci to guide the curious seeker to long-forgotten treasures. The map hinted at a journey that would traverse the abandoned palaces of nobility, each marked with a symbol that hinted at the riches concealed within. Archer's imagination soared as he envisioned grand halls filled with untold treasures, dusty corridors echoing with the whispers of history, and hidden chambers waiting to reveal their long-guarded secrets. Driven by an insatiable curiosity, Archer embarked on a quest that transcended the confines of the museum. Armed with the resurrected masterpiece and the enigmatic map, he found himself on a path that intertwined artistry and adventure. The first destination marked on the map led him to a dilapidated palace on the outskirts of the city, a once opulent residence now succumbing to the ravages of time. The air was thick with the smell of must and neglect as Archer made his way through the dilapidated halls of the abandoned palace. The opulent chandeliers were draped with cobwebs, and the ancient tapestries revealed tales of opulence long forgotten. The conservator followed the directions on the map, his pulse thumping with a mixture of excitement and anxiety as his footsteps reverberated through the deserted hallways. The map led him to a hidden chamber, concealed behind a tapestry depicting scenes of revelry and splendor. With bated breath, Archer pushed aside the heavy fabric, revealing a room untouched by the passage of centuries. In the center of the chamber lay a chest adorned with intricate carvings, its contents obscured by the layers of time. As he cautiously opened the chest, Archer's eyes widened in awe. It held artifacts of unparalleled beauty, jeweled goblets, ornate manuscripts, and relics that spoke of an era long past. The abandoned palace, once forgotten in the annals of history, had yielded its first treasure, validating the authenticity of da Vinci's map. The success of his initial endeavor fueled Archer's determination to continue the quest. The map unveiled further destinations, guiding him through a web of hidden passages and forgotten corners of the world. Each palace held its own unique challenges and discoveries, from secret libraries filled with ancient manuscripts to hidden alcoves concealing priceless artworks. However, as Archer delved deeper into the pursuit of Renaissance treasures, he became increasingly aware of a shadow looming on the periphery of his quest. Rumors of a rival group of treasure hunters spread like wildfire, and it became evident that they, too, were deciphering the secrets of da Vinci's map. The race for the treasures of the Renaissance had intensified, adding an element of danger to Archer's once solitary exploration. Undeterred, 
Archer pressed on, navigating a delicate dance at deciphering the map's intricate clues while evading the ever-present threat of the rival treasure hunters. The journey took him to catacombs beneath the city, where the secrets of the past lay entombed in darkness. The map's symbols guided him through the labyrinthine tunnels, revealing hidden chambers filled with artifacts that hinted at a deeper mystery. As he descended further into the depths of the catacombs, Archer could sense that the final chapter of his quest was approaching. The map, now worn increased from countless journeys, pointed to a destination that held the promise of unlocking the ultimate secrets of the Renaissance. The conservator steeled himself for the challenges ahead, knowing that the culmination of his journey would not only define his own legacy but also shed light on the mysteries concealed within da Vinci's masterpiece. The stage was set for the grand finale of an adventure that blended the worlds of art and exploration, leaving Archer on the precipice of a revelation that transcended the boundaries of time and imagination. Chapter 3 Pursuit Through Abandoned Palaces as Archer emerged from the catacombs, the scent of damp earth clung to his clothes, a testament to the subterranean journey he had undertaken. The map in his hands bore the marks of the catacombs' challenges, its creases and smudges telling the story of a quest that had delved into the very depths of history. The symbols on the map beckoned him forward, guiding him to the next destination in his pursuit of Renaissance treasures, an abandoned palace that stood as a silent witness to the passage of time. The palace, once a jewel in the crown of nobility, now stood shrouded in an eerie silence. The grandeur of its architecture hinted at a bygone era, with weathered stone pillars and ivy-covered walls whispering tales of opulence and decay. Archer's footsteps echoed through the deserted courtyard as he approached the entrance, the map leading him with unwavering precision. The conservator pushed open the creaking doors, revealing a vast hall adorned with faded tapestries and cracked marble floors. The air inside was heavy with the weight of forgotten history, and Archer couldn't help but feel a sense of reverence for the remnants of a world that had long since vanished. As he ventured deeper into the abandoned palace, the map guided him through a labyrinth of corridors and forgotten chambers. Each step revealed glimpses of the past, glimpses of extravagant banquets in grand halls, clandestine meetings in shadowy corners, and the echoes of laughter that had once filled these now empty rooms. The pursuit of Renaissance treasures became a dance between the conservator and the hidden map, with each new discovery unlocking a piece of the puzzle. Archer found himself standing in front of a towering library, its shelves lined with dusty volumes that seemed to hold the collective wisdom of centuries. The map indicated a hidden passage behind a bookshelf, and with a gentle push, Archer revealed a secret chamber filled with ancient manuscripts and forgotten scrolls. As he leafed through the yellowed pages, Archer uncovered references to lost artworks, alchemical secrets, and the elusive treasures that had captivated the imaginations of scholars and explorers throughout history. The abandoned palace, it seemed, was a repository of knowledge, its walls concealing not only the physical artifacts, but also the intellectual wealth of the Renaissance. However, the conservator's progress was not without its challenges. The rival group of treasure hunters, relentless in their pursuit, left subtle traces of their presence. Archer found signs of their exploration, hastily opened chests, disturbed artifacts, and cryptic messages that hinted at a race against time. The tension in the air grew palpable, and Archer knew that he had to stay one step ahead to protect the treasures he sought. The map led him to a hidden chamber, where a mosaic-covered floor hinted at a deeper mystery. 
As Archer deciphered the symbols beneath his feet, a mechanism clicked into place, revealing a staircase leading down into the palace's forgotten depths. With each descent, the conservator felt the weight of history pressing down upon him, the air becoming denser with the secrets that lay buried. The underground chamber, illuminated by the dim light of Archer's lantern, revealed a cache of treasures that surpassed even his wildest expectations. Gilded sculptures, jeweled artifacts, and rare manuscripts lay neatly arranged, as if awaiting the return of the patrons who had once cherished them. It was a treasure trove that transcended material value, a testament to the creativity and ingenuity of an era long past. But the rival treasure hunters were closing in, their presence felt in the cell disturbances that echoed through the abandoned palace. Archer, undeterred, pressed on, following the map to the palace's highest tower, where a hidden balcony overlooked the city below. The final symbol on the map pointed to a celestial alignment that would unlock the last piece of the puzzle. As Archer gazed upon the cityscape bathed in the soft glow of moonlight, he realized that the pursuit of Renaissance treasures had transformed into a quest for something far more profound. The map, now tattered and worn, had become a companion in a journey that transcended time and space. The conservator's heart raced as he prepared for the grand revelation that awaited him at the culmination of this chapter in his odyssey, where the boundaries between the tangible and the intangible blurred, and the treasures of the Renaissance awaited their final unveiling. Chapter 4 The Cat and Mouse Game in the Catacombs The city below lay cloaked in the quiet embrace of night as Archer stood on the balcony of the abandoned palace, the map in his hands indicating a celestial alignment that would unlock the final secrets of the Renaissance. The cool breeze carried a sense of anticipation, and the conservator couldn't shake the feeling that the journey he had embarked upon was approaching a climax that transcended the physical treasures he had uncovered. As the celestial bodies aligned in the night sky, a soft glow enveloped the balcony, revealing hidden symbols etched into the ancient stone. Archer traced the patterns with a sense of reverence, realizing that he stood on the threshold of a revelation that surpassed the material riches he had sought. The map, now a guide through both space and time, directed him to a hidden staircase leading down into the heart of the palace. Descending into the bowels of the abandoned structure, Archer found himself in a subterranean chamber adorned with murals that depicted scenes from the Renaissance. The map led him through the catacombs beneath the palace, a labyrinthine network of tunnels that echoed with the footsteps of history. The air grew colder, and the flickering light of Archer's lantern cast dancing shadows on the walls. As he delved deeper into the catacombs, Archer sensed a subtle change in the atmosphere. The rival treasure hunters were no longer mere shadows in the periphery, their presence became palpable, a constant reminder that the pursuit of the Renaissance treasures had become a dangerous game of strategy and cunning. The conservator moved with caution, the map guiding him through twists and turns, hidden chambers, and cryptic symbols that seemed to come alive in the dim light. It became evident that the catacombs held secrets beyond the material wealth of the Renaissance, secrets that had eluded scholars and adventurers for centuries. The map pointed to a chamber adorned with ancient symbols and a pedestal at its center. As Archer approached, he realized that this was the final destination, the epicenter of the quest that had unfolded through abandoned palaces and hidden passages. The celestial alignment cast a mystical glow upon the room, revealing an intricately carved chest that seemed to pulse with an otherworldly energy. The conservator hesitated for a moment, aware that unlocking the chest might unleash forces beyond his understanding. 
the rival treasure hunters, closing in, added an urgency to his actions. Taking a deep breath, Archer placed the map on the pedestal and turned the key in the chest. The lid creaked open, revealing not gold or jewels, but a collection of ancient scrolls, each bound with a ribbon bearing the insignia of da Vinci himself. As Archer carefully unfurled the first scroll, he realized that these were not just documents, they were a testament to the genius of the Renaissance polymath, a collection of his musings, inventions, and visions for the future. The rival treasure hunters, now at the entrance of the chamber, watched with a mix of awe and frustration as Archer's discovery unfolded. The scrolls contained da Vinci's sketches of inventions far ahead of their time, detailed anatomical studies, and philosophical reflections that transcended the boundaries of art and science. It was a treasure trove of knowledge that could reshape the understanding of the Renaissance era. As Archer absorbed the profound insights laid bare by the scrolls, the rival hunters approached with a mixture of resentment and curiosity. The conservator realized that the true treasure of the Renaissance was not confined to material wealth but embodied in the intellectual legacy of da Vinci himself. The map, the palaces, and the catacombs had served as a journey through the mind of a genius, unraveling the layers of his brilliance. A sense of understanding passed between Archer and the rival treasure hunters as they acknowledged the significance of their shared discovery. The pursuit of Renaissance treasures had forged an unlikely bond, transcending the rivalry that had fueled their journey. In the catacombs beneath the city, beneath the layers of history and competition, they had uncovered a legacy that belonged to humanity as a whole. As they emerged from the subterranean depths, the conservator, now accompanied by the rival hunters, carried the scrolls back into the moonlit night. The abandoned palace, the map, and the catacombs stood as witnesses to a quest that had evolved into a collective exploration of knowledge and enlightenment. In the aftermath of their shared discovery, Archer realized that the true treasures of the Renaissance were not confined to dusty chambers or hidden passages. The legacy of da Vinci's intellect, captured in those scrolls, would continue to inspire generations, transcending the boundaries of time. The map, now a relic of a bygone adventure, became a symbol of the transformative power of curiosity, collaboration, and the pursuit of knowledge. As the conservator and the rival hunters parted ways, the moonlit cityscape bore witness to the closing chapter of a tale that had unfolded through abandoned palaces, catacombs, and the corridors of history. The echoes of the Renaissance lingered in the night air, and Archer, carrying the scrolls of da Vinci's wisdom, stepped into the future with a renewed appreciation for the treasures that endure beyond the confines of material wealth, the treasures of the human intellect and the unending quest for understanding. Please watch the other videos from our playlists. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to keep updated with new captivating mysteries.